Do you want to learn how to write YouTube titles that get views? With a global reach of 2 billion locked in monthly users, it is no surprise that YouTube has become one of the biggest platforms for monetizable content in the world. Considering that it is also the second most used search engine following Google, it becomes clear why it presents a huge opportunity for content providers. However, it is not that easy to get in front of the right audience. The thing is, you not only have to beat millions of other videos to show up on the user's feed, but you also have to convince them to click on your video and not someone else's. For this reason, today I will tell you some of the best tips and tricks for writing YouTube titles that get views. Are you ready? Let's go! Write YouTube titles that get views and really attract the attention of your audience, you need to make sure that they are unique, catchy, do not exceed the optimum length of 70 characters and include key elements such as numbers, keywords, and power words. Avoid using clickbait. Users need to receive exactly the content that they were expecting from the title and some more on top. So let's see how to do that. However, keep in mind that you don't have to use all of the tips at the same time. Use them to wear your titles and make them more creative and different. Trying to use all of them at once might get a little bit overwhelming. So the first tip is mind the title link. The first and the most simple tip to write YouTube titles that get views is to make sure that you are working within the perfect link. Titles that are longer than the recommended will get truncated in most search results. If you take a look at this video title, it gets truncated exactly at the most interesting part. How much they earn per month blogging. Although what saves the headline in this case is that the information is clearly displayed in the thumbnail. On the other hand, titles that are way too short are usually not descriptive enough or don't have the needed information for drawing the attention of the user. Currently, YouTube has 100 character limit for titles but try to keep it between 70 characters to make sure that your title is displayed correctly. However, in my personal opinion, I think that a more readable title should be around 60 characters. Of course, if you need more space, you can use up to 70, but try not to go over that. Capitalize the first letter of each word. The next tip for writing YouTube titles that get views is to capitalize the first letter of each word. This tip is very simple and easy to do, and it will usually drop the attention more than just having everything in lowercase. According to streamcreative.com, it makes title much easier to read by the user because they have a stronger call to action. As someone who consumes a lot of YouTube content, I also see titles that are fully in uppercase. However, I think it can be annoying and harder to read by users, so I wouldn't abuse that. Maybe if you have a very loyal audience and you really want to call their attention for a special video. Otherwise, I would stick to capitalizing the first letter of each word because it is not that aggressive. Use a number within your title. The next technique for writing better YouTube titles that get views is to include a number in your title. There are a number of reasons why this easy trick can draw the attention more than a regular title substance it gives a more specific overview of your content structure it makes reading the title easier for the user attention they stand out among so many letters content planning it also helps you plan your content better put simply numbers are brain candy when it comes for processing content we're automatically attracted by them because they help our brain organize information into a logical order. They're also perceived as more rare among so many letters, which is why they call the attention so much. Include a power word. Next from our bag of tips for YouTube titles that get views is using a power word. Power words are words with a strong meaning that trigger a psychological or emotional response from the audience. Your goal is to be persuasive and aim to push people to take action. For example, let's take a look at these two titles and see which one sounds more catchy. 10 ways to catch a fish without a rod or 10 awesome ways to catch a fish without a rod. As you can see, the change in the title is subtle, but it can make a huge difference when the user has to choose what video to click on. I mean, it is cool to learn some new ways to catch a fish without a rod if they are also awesome. 
you get the idea. Power words aim to make title more interesting and promising, which as a result makes it more clickable as well. Apart from awesome, some additional examples of power words include affordable, amazing, authoritative, convenient, excellent, and so on. You can find the full list of power words to select from for your YouTube videos in the description of this video, so definitely check it out. By implementing at least one of them in your title, you can significantly increase click-through rate or CTR of your videos. In the beginning of the video, I mentioned that YouTube is the second most used search engine in the world right after Google. And particularly, all search engines work with one simple ingredient, keywords. Keywords are the most important things when it comes to search engine optimization or SEO. And yes, YouTube also requires SEO to get your videos in front of your target audience. Keywords serve two essential purposes, to let search engines know what your content is about and to let users know what your content is about. As simple as that. So, before writing the title of your YouTube video, you will need to do a keyword research to find the most popular and trending keywords for your topic. This way, you can position your content for the exact search terms that people are typing in the search bar. As you can see in the example here, the idea is to discover keywords that people actually search for and adopt your video title to match them as closely as possible. If you have a great content but nobody is searching for the keyword that you have put in your title, you might miss on a lot of traffic. How can you discover popular keywords? You could use the Keyword Planner, a free tool provided by Google AdSense. Place your keywords in the beginning. Now that you know the importance of keywords for YouTube, the next step to writing great YouTube titles that get views is the correct positioning of your keywords. The rules are actually quite simple. Keyword in the beginning. Start writing your YouTube title with your keyword first, or as closely as possible to the beginning. In the example here, the keyword is digital marketing for beginners. And it is just how the title of the first video starts. This is great for both algorithms and users to get a quick grasp of your content, and whether it will be relevant for the specific search query of the user. Use your name last. YouTubers that also want to work on their brand positioning tend to include their name or the name of their channel within the video title. You can absolutely do this without any problem, but make sure that it comes last in your title as it is typically doesn't provide much information on what the content will be about. Unless, of course, the YouTuber is so famous that you instantly know what content to speak just by seeing their name. But even in the case, Users who don't know this YouTuber will just be confused from the title. That was for this video. If you enjoyed watching this, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the like button, and also there is a question for you. Do you want me to make a video about tips for making an attractive thumbnail? I'm waiting for your answer in comment section down below, and I will see you on Tuesday with another video.